Hey guys, today I'm going to show you what to do if you open Logic Pro and you see that it's stuck where it says updating information about audio unit plugins. Usually this happens after you have updated the OS, but it could also happen if you have installed uh, new plugins recently. I've watched many videos out there that ask you to delete the audio unit cache or other methods that would take forever for you to fix the issue. I haven't seen one single video that really explained how to quickly figure out which plugin is actually causing the issue and how to remove it from your component folder. Okay, let's get to the point. What you need to do is go to your application folder and in the utility folder, you're gonna see activity monitor. In there, if you organize the view by CPU usage at the top, you're gonna see com.apple.audio.info helper. Or uh, you can just type it in the search box. Um, by the way, this is for people that have an Intel Mac. If you have an Apple processor, I mean M1, M2, M3, M4, instead you want to type AU hosting. So AU H O S T I N G, uh, one word. So you would you would highlight one of those lines, either the COM uh, line or the AU hosting, and select open file and port. Uh, now, if you scroll down at the bottom of the report of this line, you will see uh, which plugin is the last one that Logic is scanning. Now, if you wait a few seconds and you keep scrolling down, you will see that there's more and more plugins coming in, right? So as long as it's moving, we know that you're good. You just have to be patient. But uh, if you see that it's stuck toward the last line, you just have to read which plugin it's stuck on at the end of the list. So you have two options. Either you go to HD library audio plugins component and delete that particular plugin. Let's say it was the overkill or whatever that is in the list. You just go in that component, remove it from there, restart your Mac and relaunch Logic. And clearly, because it was stuck on that plugin, it's going to move on to the next one and keep scanning until there might be like another plugin that is stuck on. And you would basically keep doing that until Logic is done scanning everything. So that's the first option. Now, the second option is for you to actually highlight the line in Activity Monitor, uh, either the AU hosting line or the info helper line. And you would hit the cross and hit force quit. And what's gonna happen is that the line will reopen in Activity Monitor, but now it's gonna keep scanning for the rest, right? Like, so if you keep scrolling down, you will see that it's not stuck on that last plugin, it moved on to scanning the rest. So in that case, you keep scrolling down and keep waiting like to see if some other plugins are done. At some point, Logic will open because it's gonna be done scanning everything. All you have to do is go to your plugin manager in the menu, and you locate the one that it was stuck on and you actually like force quit and you just like disable them. So I personally prefer to remove them from the component folder uh, altogether, but it's really up to you. Anyway, you will see that one way or the other, uh, Logic will open. You could also watch the other videos that I made that explain how to force validate like all plugins, but this is basically to show you which plugin was the culprit on in your situation and how to like uh, bypass it altogether. That's it. If that was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. Thanks.